Hello everybody, Glitch Reaper here, uh, again, <laughs> original card game for the win. Uh, now I'm probably just gonna play around a bit to build up a little money. I'm getting the hang of a new deck, and it's kind of an absolute monstrosity <laughs> that I've come up with. So, I'm probably just gonna play a bit with it, because I, I got some complimentary quests going here. Looking for green and white. And this deck is just... A monster. Uh, you can actually have quite a few cards in a deck if you really want to. And I usually I don't play with quite this many, but somehow I'm just going. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I've seen people with some really monstrous decks, and they've been fine. <laughs> kind of. I'm just doing play here, so th this is a time where I'm starting off not worried about it. Oh, yeah, this, this could work for starting hand. We have a spectral sailor immediately. I will obviously look. Yeah, I'm biasing a little bit white this round, but I can get some better. Kraken. Okay, that one's ended. I was going to get big in a hurry. I'm trying to remember if I have that one or not, out of all those draws I did. That one just got roasted. Again, this is just no particular way of doing things. Kraken is really strong. As well, at least try.
there goes my death touch creature. As I said, I'm just going with play here first rather than trying to build any particular, uh, anything, because I'm just going with quests right now, and I will be getting other stuff along the way, even if it's just, uh, straight up play. You can use other decks whenever I'm trying to go for ranked and trying to get a, you know, I'm trying to get a feel for how this one's working out. So this is kind of a, inverting it is kind of a good way to do it, because you can kind of see if it's going to be strong enough to really do ratcheting up your rank. But that's kind of a different tactic. Yeah. I have a druid. Still knock this thing out because of that extra counter. He opted for the counter. Riot means basically when something enters the battlefield, you choose between having haste or a plus one plus one counter. He went for the counter, so it's officially too strong for me to block without losing my creature. Go for. I could. I'd rather do this. Okay. A little extra that way ought to help. Shit. So he gets clobbered. He, he gets a neck. He's going for safe. Always respect. Him. They can take it out, so I'm gonna try to be defensive about that. At least make a defensive kill, even if the if, if creature's going down. It seems like the wrong thing to do, but I'm going for it. And I'm calling green.
some defensive kills today. It's not exactly what my quests are specifically for, is de destroying enemies' creatures, but eh, I'm good to go for it sometimes. Nothing flying for a while. I'd love to hit them with a plummet, but it's not working. Ah. get an opening after a while. I do have some things that are harder to block in this deck, but they haven't shown up yet. Oh, that thing. It is just nice. Okay, they went with a boatload of counters. So that one you can choose to either have way more counters or... Well, this is just like a well done. You don't have reach. And he's got flying and vigilance. Yeah. Okay, he's powering up. Okay, Pro proliferate like crazy. That's huge. Yeah, that's definitely not going well. Now, do I wish to defensively kill something? I think I do. Take out that cruel beast master. And just because I can. you're wondering, this is truly a huge deck and has over 100 cards, and hence why earlier I was saying I usually don't go that big. I'm also trying to fulfill multiple uh, quests at once, and it was kind of cluing me into time to make a new green and white deck. So I may have went a little nuts. But that's perfectly fine.
See, that's a much better hand. during this state. There we go. Reska, you're good. I've used you as a commander before, but right now you're gonna get reshuffled. Why does that sound so goose? <laughs> It's, it sounds like the goose card. I'm not even kidding. It, it sounds like the goose card. Quite concerned about that first strike and mentor. If only I'd started with that ley line of weapons, but it's big deck, so not as likely. I was really deciding between a couple of those for a moment. Thinking, do I really want Sentinel's eyes or all the glitters? All the glitters is very interesting with these kind of decks because the creature gets an extra plus one plus one for each other. Oh dear, yeah, that happens. But yeah, uh, for each enchantment and/or artifact you've got. Sentinel's Eyes is plus one, plus one, straight, but it's slightly cheaper, and it also adds Vigilance. I, may, I know I have the big one I've been waiting to do for a while, but I'll probably do that next turn, because now i got some Vigilance going. And that'll just make it so much nastier. If I can just get one more land, I can unleash the questing beast, though. 
Oh, oh, yeah, that, that, that thing is, is nasty beyond belief. Oh, okay. Gimme God. They can just barely manage to take it down. So if they're smart, they'd probably block with both just to kill it. So I'm not gonna do that. to devotion in a hurry. Trust me, my damage is going to quickly outdo your damage in this very fast. Revoke existence. <laughs> you are gone. <laughs> Just goodbye. <laughs> yeah, just good freaking bye. Woo hoo. <laughs> goodbye. That really is a pretty nasty uh, white sorcery card there. Just exiles a, a an enchantment or artifact card, including the fact that many of the gods and that all the gods and demigods from this block are also technically enchantments. <laughs> is there enchantment creatures? So that is very nasty for them. Oh, Whew, thank you. letting me do this yet. Normally artifacts don't have that problem. Hello, why is it... why it... Usually artifacts, unless they're a creature, you could tap them on your first turn of having them out in play. So this is why I'm wondering why this isn't working. Because it should have displayed it being workable by now. But for some odd reason, it's not going there. Yeah, this is gonna get stupid nuts in a moment. Okay, now it's letting me do that. Uh. 
I'm voting Questing Beast. Yeah. Okay. Just go nuts. <laughs> Yeah, that will take me out, but he just barely had anything left. So that was close. So that special ability plus uh, flying will be good. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't have reach, so... Begin mainly doing some questing. Let's see how much I got out of that. Wow, I'm... I only need to cast four more white spells to get that one. Uh, attacking with creatures has been a bit of a trick. But yeah, sometimes you have better luck with that than others. Eight out of thirty would agree. But again, this is a monster sized deck, so it's very chaotic. It's complimentary, but it's not like super themed. Ah, Ginger Brute. Always a good start. Okay, so because of that... I'm the Gingerbread Man! It's happening! Now this thing could get nuts. I think I'm gonna put it up. No, wait. Uh, Wildborn Preserver. Yeah, just the fact I have this is kind of insane. Or, or uh, going super green. Prep this a little bit. Let's go complimentary and give me a planes. Yeah, 
That is a good one, but I'm gonna wait a little while on that. Season of growth, got their enchant ready. Uh, I think I will... Activate Wildborn Pre uh, Preserver's special ability. is so nasty. You can just keep growing whenever non-human creatures enter the field. So I'm gonna... I am definitely going to keep doing that. That one can't actually attack, so. May look like it, but they can't. They have no power. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was just a stop. I played several green cards, so it helped going on that field. Let's see how how many that really worked out. Astrior. Thank you. Let's see, now we're at uh, a thousand experience for another thing of Theros. Okay, I, I need to play like three white and still a lot of green. <laughs> and the attacking really went way up on that one. So that was a that was an absolute pounding spree. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that was a pounding spree. So, yeah. Um, kind of? Oh, well, with that, there's... I mean, I can risk it a little. Just again, I'm just, I'm just playing out here. I'm not really going for any particular... Any particular, uh, like, anything. I'm just, they're just playing to play right now. <laughs> We're doing the same thing. I know I could have went to the Wellborn Preserver. But, let's face it, I had to go for the Angel. Narrow the field a little. I figured they had at least some life gain going for them. Really need to get a white green land that also does that same effect for when it comes to individual life. Okay. 
He convoked. Therefore, let's go with this. Aurelia? Uh, hi. See if they have enough stuff. Both of these crushing that one. Oh, thank you. A little late, but that's okay. in our friendships. Yeah, no blocks this time. Oh, I can go all out, so in that case... Uh... Nice to see you again. Call for reinforcements. You might need them. <laughs> if they burrow Elder's special ability is ridiculous, that they, in a way, reach permanent. I mean, reach color. Among permanents, you control add one mana of that color. So, uh, yeah. You could literally add one of each color pretty fast. give you a tip here. Double strike. I hit twice, so that thing's gone. And of course, I'll get her back in a few turns. Uh, Dracuseth is just insane. That, that thing is usually just a tie turner every time he comes out. So there's not much I can do about that one. Friendship is secure. Heavily, what this was about was just getting some attacks in. Okay, that's more than halfway. Okay, let's see here. So I need to play heavy green and get attacks in. We'll see if I can do that within my usual limit for one of these sessions. Or sometimes the match just keeps going. Huh. 
Prime Speaker Vanneker for a uh, a uh, uh, Van uh, Vanifar for an avatar. Okay. Uh, don't have enough to really cast much this time. This is definitely a mulligan. Much better. Okay. What do I wanna? That guy's very expensive, so he is getting reshuffled. Probably both going to be using incubation druids. Because they can produce extra mana. Oh, extra land. Okay, so. Let's, uh. Power this guy up a bit. Oh boy. That thing has to escape from a graveyard to be fully in play, so he's gonna have to sack it at the moment, but that means it's entering the battlefield. Uh, will happen twice. And that's why I got that card in. It's just like that uh, little uh, wings card you can you, you can get during the Ixalan block. Kind of. It's got another ability too, but eh, the other one's one I don't think you'd really want to really use, except if it was a finisher. I tried to get my. Okay. Going with that thing again. So I'm gonna keep up with it this time, if I can. So I was gonna do my incubation druid next, but looks like I'm gonna go for my hydra's growth. Mirror maid. Uh, are th th neither of those are enchantment creatures or artifacts. I don't. Uh, oh, they're they're gonna they're gonna copy mine. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that helped. Now, do I want to smash it? Yeah, I want to smash it, because I, I need to get in my attacks. My creature is on their side, and uh, it's just an effect that doesn't end at end of turn. So I can't get that back. I think 
made it too good. It's too strong. Now it's counting them under my control? Or is it? Yes, yeah, counting them under my control even though they're controlling the creature. That's weird. I got more than one copy of that one. Mirror Maid is a pretty powerful <laughs> powerful enchantment. I think I might actually have one. That's a deep dwelling. Now you can't copy that with a hemostat one. Because uh, god cards are legendary enchantments. I think I might want to take something out just cuz next time, so... I'll rapid... I'll rapid bite instead. Yeah, you can see how powerful that combo is that I came up with, because somebody just stole it, literally. <laughs> now he's got trample, so there's nothing I can really do about that. But I can... slow that thing down. A little. It... And that one just has too much power right now. Need to go with a simmer or a simmer or dimmer style deck at some point. So green and blue or uh, blue and black. Eh, if I'm gonna go out anyhow, might as well make a kill. Did I get enough progress in on either of those? Sort of. I d one more. Because I, I don't think I'm going to make it this round on camera on those two. But you never know. I might get enough green spells in or attack enough times. Again, this is a big chaotic deck that's mostly for fun and quests. Might build up a bit, but there's nothing correctly, correctly, I could do right now in terms of getting a creature out. Well, board preserver, yeah, could do that. So, uh, 
want to pop back. That's very good, but very expensive. Questing beasts is awesome, but... No, no I, there's more of a chance of me... Yeah, I think there's... I can get my Archon of Absolution another time. introduce you to later. Yeah, this is leaning green. I need to cast more green spells anyhow, so, yeah. You wouldn't want to let that one go. Got my attack in that way. Eep, I need to power that one up later. I'm tank a little damage here. Getting into questing beast territory. I can't pay X right now. It's too powerful. Yeah, he couldn't even block because of one of this thing's special abilities. This thing is really nuts. Vigilance, death, touch, haste. Questing beast can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Combat damage still would be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented, and whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker they control. And okay, I see Elspeth is incoming. That's gonna be interesting. Hmm, maybe. Better get another creature powered up. Yeah, this is getting nuts. I think they forgot something. Yeah, my opponent totally forgot something. It's called Wildborn Preserver has reach and more power and toughness than they can handle. So, poof. I figured they were gonna do that. Okay. Let's uh let's get a god card out here. Yeah, they realized that with these, with those two powering up so much, they were basically screwed. 
<laughs> They're going, nope, I'm out of here. That and he has god cards. He's like, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't blame him. Okay, that was just for a win. That wasn't triggering either. Of these, yeah. I got so close. Literally, like, a hundred experience away. That's literally like one more duel, but it's at the end of my usual session period for uh, for doing one of these. Uh, looks like I'm kind of probably going to be getting these two off camera this time, but eh, that, that, that's fine. I got pretty close and was able to have a little fun with that deck. So I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from you all later. Bye for now, and remember, MTG forever!